Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. OK, so remember to enjoy life too. So where on earth do you think I would have got that from? Or why on earth do you think I'm doing this clip? OK, so very often I am in the middle of a, I'm in the middle of a real difficult sort of time in my life. It, um, lots of health problems going on, lots of stresses, lots of worries. Um, waiting to have an, a, a quite a big extensive operation coming up. Um, this will hopefully be my last operation. This will be my fourth operation to put something back right. But um, very often, what I find, and I find myself doing it. For example, something as simple as just. You've got the week, you've got a weekend. Once you've had the weekend and you're on Sunday evening, then not necessarily enjoying the week, but just enjoying the weekend. And for me, that's because that I'm not necessarily, of course, happy in my life at the moment with, of course, the operation coming up. And I'll be very honest, the job I'm in, I don't find that fulfilling now. And when that happens, that's the true testament to you that it's time to move on. But of course, I can't because if I'm waiting an operation, I don't really want to sort of put myself in that situation of then in a new role having to take time off. But then swing things completely around of actually having to sort of keep not necessarily enjoying the moment, but keep looking always ahead, is that I'm very guilty of sort of saying to myself that, you know what, I'll, I'll do that when I'm fine again I'm, and I'm well again after the operation, after the operation. People ask me a question about doing things. I can't do it now, but I do it after the operation. And when you think of it, really, it's just that, isn't it? Remember to enjoy life too. And I think more so now than ever, that throughout this COVID pandemic, which we all have found ourselves in, and our lives have been vastly changed. And of course, some more than others, who sadly, and my heart goes out to them, who have lost family members, life will never be the same. But for others, and for other families who, who amazingly are still well, and, and, and still have all of their family members still with them, um, then they will go back to a normal, which we remember. But of course, again, even in that scenario, that instead of keep waiting for things to sort of happen, enjoy the right now, enjoy the small things. Um, and I and I really do try to tell myself that because you can get so wrapped up with that sort of that the mechanism of life is just being sort of Monday to Tuesday to Wednesday. And you're in that sort of notion of not necessarily enjoying the right now. Very often you can miss the most wonderful small things, even just being a part of a conversation. If you're not really there because your mind is on something else or you're thinking of something else, you can miss something and you can miss something which could be a special memory or somebody's or somebody's made the decision to share something with you truly quite special or something which means a great deal to them or perhaps on the outside they're looking absolutely fine and well but on the inside they're crumbling and perhaps in that moment they may take a may take a time to share something with you and perhaps if you're not completely sort of involved or switched on to what they're saying to you because you're wrapped up in thinking about things ahead into the future, perhaps you've missed that. And very often if you've missed those special moments to share something with someone or to sort of help someone or to pick up on something, if somebody's not well, sort of mental health issues and things like that, if you've missed that, then very often you may not pick up on it again. So this whole topic came to me last night when I was thinking about how I'm feeling lately and sort of of course now it's Friday which is fantastic and we all love that Friday feeling and it's really and it's really great to have a really great weekend but of course you have to try and I try to have that feeling of that feeling of thanks and that feeling of appreciation throughout the whole of the week as well and actually yes I'm awaiting this operation but I have to appreciate the time now I've got a life I need to live that life up to the operation and afterwards as well. Um, so I suppose what I'm trying to say is exactly as my phrase on the start of this clip is remember to enjoy life too. And that moves me on to something which I always get very wrapped up at, wrapped up in as well, is setting myself too harsh of goals and targets in life to achieve. And very, very often, if we consistently have that bar 
very, very high of which which we which we desire to meet. So, for example, for me, it's it's the house, it's the the married, the amazing wife, the family, the children, everything up here in a short space of time. And actually, realistically, that's not realistic because I also want to be this fully qualified um, uh, accountant, uh, chartered accountant. I want to have a certain amount of money in the bank and I want to travel the world and all these things. But if we actually which we all do. And if you set those targets high all the time, you're always kind of setting yourself up for that fall. And you get tied up in that sort of length of time of trying to keep getting to that goal, trying to keep getting possibly to that certain amount of money, or trying to book that special trip, or trying to afford your first home. And actually, you have to enjoy the journey as well. As I say, the destination's great, but sometimes the journey can be more incredible as well. And very often, that's the case with my life. I really, really enjoy that end moment, but sometimes I forget about the journey along the way as well. And of course, very often, that's one of the most important parts as well. So again, bringing that notion back how we started this clip, remember to enjoy life too. It can be anything, can't it? Say, for example, you've got something at the weekend, you're going to this party, or you're going to a really lavish event after when COVID and everything is over. But you've got to get through the week first of all. So perhaps you may do something which you may enjoy. You may be in a job which perhaps is a little bit stressful. You're having a bit of a hard week. Still take time to enjoy the small things. Take time to perhaps share a few moments with an old friend, or take a moment just to sort of treat yourself with your favourite sort of takeaway or something of an evening. Or just it can be the smallest thing of picking up the phone and speaking to somebody and enjoying a conversation with someone you haven't done so for a long time. So again, we keep getting back to enjoying the small things in life. And as you've probably guessed from this clip already, I'm feeling a little bit like that at the moment, that life is kind of passing me by and I'm enjoying life. But am I really enjoying life? Um, and that's really got me thinking. And you may think, well, actually, if you're in a situation where you've got health problems and things going on, then naturally you're not going to anyway. No, but of course you can try. You can wear that smile. You can sort of raise your back up and you can sort of get on with life as well. And that's not always easy. Um, and anybody who says it's easy is downright lying because it's not. Um, but just reminding yourselves, actually, when you go to do something and possibly when you think to yourself, oh, I just really can't. Actually, remind yourself and think and actually... Today is a day in your life, after it's over, you're never ever going to get it back. Let's make the most of it, let's enjoy it, and yeah, I've got that end goal, that fantastic holiday, or even looking at the time when there will be no COVID restrictions. Fantastic, all of those fantastic things. Perhaps you're going to be buying your first house, perhaps you're going to be learning to drive, you're going to drive that car for the first time. That journey, getting there, you have to enjoy it. So enjoy that learning sort of time. If it's poss possibly learning to drive, or if you're doing a qualification, enjoy that experience. Or for example, you're waiting for that special day where you're getting married, or for example, that, that sort of date with your girlfriend, or you're meeting a, a friend which you haven't seen for a very long time. Fantastic, but enjoy the journey up to it as well. So enjoy the small things and make time for family. Hugely, hugely important. If somebody says to you, or if a brother or a sister says to you, and says, actually, would you like to go somewhere? Stop. Think. How many times, how many times in life do you get spare time where you can switch off, enjoy, and enjoy it with someone who you absolutely love? When you think about it, how fast and how pressured life can be, we don't actually get that many opportunities. So when you do, just think, perhaps you could make time. Perhaps you could enjoy life a little bit more. I know I can. I'm going to really start to try and think about that as well. So this weekend, don't rush, don't worry and think about Monday morning. I'm very, very guilty of that. Hand on heart, I get to about Saturday afternoon and I start thinking about the week ahead. So <laughs> don't do that. Enjoy it, first of all. Enjoy the right now. My favourite, one of my favourite sayings is, stop and smell the roses. They're actually quite beautiful. And from that, it's all about taking note of the small things along the way of this big journey we're all in in life, because they're actually truly quite incredible. Okay, so to finish on how we started my clip, just remember to enjoy life too. Thanks very much for watching my clip. It means the world that you've shared this with me. Um, I use my channel as a time um, 
or sort of almost like a, a go-to sort of environment or, or a place which I can talk things through, I can get things off my chest, I can talk about things which are bothering me, worries, fears, aspirations, dreams, um, and much, much more as well. So I really hope that you may may have took something away from that or you can help or what I've said can help you as well. Um, so yes, and on that note, thank you very much for sharing that with me and I really, really hope you've enjoyed that as much as I have too. Okay, so thanks very much and until next time we see you then, bye for now.